So Rajasthan Royals versus the Kings 11 Punjab match number 9 to be played in Sharjah. You're watching My 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket Info. And joining us are two wise heads, Ian Bishop and Sanjay Manjrekar. First, let's give you our pro tip. The last game here in Sharjah saw a total of 416 runs being scored in 40 overs and so. Expect yet another high-scoring game and pack your 11 with batsmen from both teams. Ian, you concur? Um, I, th I, th I still think you have to have the right balance because it's a small ground, right? So, if the pitch is flat, it means, let's say, if you have your typical five specialist batsmen, they should be able to make hay on that surface. Where I would want to protect myself is to have enough bowling options to be able to limit or defend a score on such a small ground. Okay. See, every team has options of big hitters. You know, that is one of the big focus when they are at the auction table. So, uh, those options are there. But I think the bowling will decide the outcome of the game because you need bowlers who are really good at stopping the batsman from getting runs on a small ground where the pitch is flat and, uh, you know, sixes don't go just over the rope. They go outside the stadium. So, <laughs> back, back your fantasy eleven more with those you know fast bowlers who can bowl in the block holes and uh, people like Kuldeep Yadav those, those kinds might just be a bit of a gamble right before we reveal our recommended 11 just a quick update on player availability Joss Butler who did not play in the previous game is now available for selection so keep a note of that as well uh, just a quick look at the rules uh, note that every user on my 11 circle has 100 credits available to form the team each player has been assigned individual credit values Users had to pick players from four categories, batsmen, all-rounders, wicketkeepers and bowlers with a maximum of seven players from one particular team. Who's our captain? Joss Butler it is. He, he's had a week off after the ODI series against Australia and he'll be raring to go in his first game this IPL season. He looked in top form in the three T20 innings at home versus Australia and this time he'll be playing against his favourite opposition as well. Kale Rahul is our vice-captain coming off a scintillating 100 in the last game against uh, RCB. 130 to not out the highest individual score for an Indian in the IPL. KL Rahul does have the range of shots and the ability to clear the boundaries at ease and he could be even more dangerous in Sharjah. So, Butler the captain, KL Rahul is our vice-captain. Among our other topics, Glenn Maxwell. Now, he's had a couple of failures uh, in as many games this season but we believe he will take full advantage of the short boundaries in Sharjah. Remember, he's also coming off a 50 and 100 against uh, an Archer-led attack in the 50-over format in England. And so, only a matter of time before Maxwell fires as well. Chris Gale, the world boss, is a part of our topic. It could be just the right time for Punjab to unleash Chris Gale's small ground, the best wicket to bat on in the tournament, and a couple of leg spinners in the opposition as well. And so, Gale will be salivating at the prospect of batting in this game. The other pick uh, in this lineup is Mohammad Shami, who has shown great rhythm and pace. He's looked like the best uh, quick bowler in the tournament so far. Now, even on a small ground without much help for the Pacers, Shami could be a key pick. On current form, as well as his record since 2018, Shami, we believe, is a must have in your 11. So, our top picks include Josh Butler, Kale Rahul, Glenn Maxwell, Chris Gale, and Mohammad Shami. Ian, we've got into Chris Gale as part of our uh, top picks. Do you agree with that move? No, um, <laughs> because we haven't seen him this season uh, so far yet. So he's not at the front line for obvious reasons. So I'd say I'm in disagreement. Okay, I'm okay. also a little surprised with your choice of Captain Butler and Vice Captain KL Rahul. Rahul is already here, he's already played superbly. So I would swap that. Have Rahul uh, as the Captain and Butler as the Vice Captain. I'm surprised that... Uh, Sanju Samson is not in your sort of, you know, top mm. four, considering the form that he's shown off late. So, yeah, me as well in <laughs> disagreement with a couple of your uh, choices. Chris Gale, unlikely play, I think, but we'll see. Right, we'll see if uh, Samson features in our uh, recommended 11. But uh, a quick look at our differential picks as well. Ravi Bishnoi, a young man to keep an eye on. He's looked impressive so far, especially that spell against Rishabh Pant. Shows he's a thinking bowler. Now, this game on a very good wicket with short boundaries, 
is a bit of a new challenge for the young man, but we expect him to come good. Tom Curran is uh, the other differential pick, slightly contentious, one may feel, given how his last outing went. But a bowler with as many variations as Curran could be very handy on this ground now. He may prove may have proved to be slightly expensive in the death overs, but his strike rate tells you that he will get a wicket or two more often than not. So, Ravi Bishnoi and Tom Curran, the two differential picks. A quick look now at our recommended 11. Josh Butler, Kale Rahul, Sanju Samson is there. Uh, Chris Gale, Mayank Agarwal, Steve Smith. Uh, the two all-rounders, Glenn Maxwell, Tom Curran. And uh, among the bowlers, we've got Jofra Archer, Mohammad Shami and Ravi Bishnoi. Four very interesting choices as substitutes. Sheldon Cottrell, Rahul Tevatya is there as well. Uh, Nicholas Puran and Jaydev Onarkar. Sanjay, what would you change in this 11 and the subs? Tom Curran, uh, there's a good chance that he might be left out because Butler is in, so they'll have to leave out a foreign player. And because the Rajasthan Royals are having issue with batting, they might not leave out David Miller yet. So Tom Curran would be somebody I would have a rethink on. Ian? Um, it doesn't look too bad. Um, I- I'm not going to play devil's advocate on this one and I'm going to let the fantasy pickers be happy. Right, you saw our recommended 11. You heard from Ian Bishop and Sanjay Manjika. So go get your teams ready. That's it for now on My 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket Info. Thanks, Ian. Thanks, Sanjay.